Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance communication protocols. I volunteer, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Salarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Alenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple. Understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird, going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends. But the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help.
Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Lieutenant Alenko with the Igor team. Manovai, Jayeto teams, move. Time to get some attention. Fire is coordinated on Monovi team. We can't reach the Geth turrets. They're out of range. Something scrambled the target. We've got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off Man of I.
base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from it. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Lieutenant Lanko and the Solarians to handle. Just disable the alarms. We can handle any guards inside.
Hello? Is someone out there? Give a little ground, Lieutenant. We don't want them to bunker up. Draw them out. Gonto Imness of the third in in I watch good people reduced. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. No threat here, Commander. Ah, oh, this is no way to treat. You sure, Commander? Let them out. If that's what you want. Not right. Yeah, I need to get out. So damn simple.
want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later. I... I can help you. See? Full access. All of Saren's I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you wanna make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't... But I'll never... Oh! I enjoyed that. Look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What, what cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose 
rules order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us. They're here to wipe us out. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine, and machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. This thing is fried. Order Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Sorry, Ted. Set those charges.
Charge is set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Position. We're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker, now! Negative. It's too hot. You can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we... It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet... Up to the AA tower. Chief, I'm coming back to get you. Negative! It's too late for us! There's just too many of them! I'm activating the nuke! What are you doing, Chief? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the Lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that! We can handle ourselves! Go back and get Williams! Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander, I... It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing.
A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Sovereign's manipulating you, and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together, we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. Visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. Of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a spectre. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It's inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die.
I... I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? Olenko knew the risks going in. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. You know that. It wasn't your call, Williams. I had to choose. I chose you. I'm... I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But it should have been me. Alenko was a superior officer. I would have gladly stayed behind. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Saren. Yes, sir. I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs> I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren's heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is... exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Dr. Chakwa should take a that look at you. That will not be necessary. We're Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about- Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign, a Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine. A true artificial intelligence, this news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. It's highly possible Saren is using false information. Uh, looks like we lost the signal, Joker. Understood, Commander. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her You're knowledge. You're in good hands, Dr. Chakwas. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of himself.
I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers Whatever from... Saren's reasons Yes, were. I suppose you... Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are... I should go. Goodbye, Shepard.